A lot of chartists who use the Renko way often miss out on maximizing its true potential. Now you can add indicators, other tools, but one of the real you know, obvious points is because we've taken out the noise from the charts, patterns and trend lines are far more obvious and therefore more powerful. Now in this video I'm going to show you how you go about utilizing and using those uh, tools in technical analysis and how you apply them into the world of Renko. So with that let's get stuck in. So let's start with the basics and I've got Bitcoin USDT here in front of you. Block size is a thousand just to make the long-term history a lot more visible to you guys and we're going to start with simple trend lines. Now remember it's exactly the same rules as it would be for a candlestick chart, bar chart, whatever other type of chart. So let's draw on some lines but remember it's subjective so everyone has a different point of view but remember the basic rules to trend line drawing three touches confirm trend two you know it's nearly there not quite so beware so let's just draw some trend lines on over here on the left you can see we've got this breakout here looking quite nice we've got that one touch two touch and three break you could call that a bounce off it as well remember it's subjective it doesn't have to be exact it's not an exact science trend line drawing and then we've got this really nice old rally on the way up so I've just drawn some other trend lines to give you an example real longer term one we've got the one two and then the three break and it's been on the way down since then also really like Renko charts because they make support and resistance really obvious we've got these three blocks here all in the same place we draw the trend line under it broken out on that fourth go a lot you know further south so I think Renko charts make trend lines and pattern analysis even more obvious than your standard charts and don't forget the rule the downtrends should be drawn above the price action as you can see here with this example and then the uptrends you can see as we saw with that really long term one going up there sit below the price action and if we focus in a bit on the shorter term price action for Bitcoin then you can even use patterns as well and again subjective but you know, maybe a heads and shoulders we got the head there I mean, sorry, the shoulder there then we've got the um, call it the main head of the shape and then we've got this other side of the head and shoulders pattern and we can use that again very obviously we've got the neckline here and we've got that break on downwards now fortunately for Bitcoin if that is a true pattern you normally take that distance there and project it on down here so it does take it a lot lower than where we are at the moment probably down actually into this sort of zone uh, 12,000 sort of area if that actually played out um, as it should by the rule set so let's have a look at some other examples using different markets to see you know price patterns and that sort of behavior so here we've got a longer term look at the S&P 500 e-mini futures contract $25 block size and when you're in um, the ordinary charts candlesticks bar charts you'll be drawing double bottoms double tops you know flags pennants like I said exactly the same in the Renko charts and subjective process but let's draw some lines on there to just show you you know typical examples a nice sort of channel flag there we could say that's the pole of the flag and then if we're predicting that as an up move then we could then take that and duplicate that one we clone that there and we then add that onto that breakout that would be our potential target 
um, for using that but again that look how nice and easy those Renko blocks um, look for making that sort of decision making process and another thing you can do we've got channels as well like in any other um, type of chart type let's find one a parallel channel again find your points and then join them up like that and use that for potential strategy a range bound price strategy and also if you want to get a bit more technical you could start using regression trends you know take the lows into the current price that's a two standard deviation move either side you can see how the price bounces and ranges over the longer term between that two standard deviation move a fall below and you start worrying about the price action so there's loads and loads of different options that you can take when using um, the Renko charts for price and trend pattern analysis. So an example of putting it together we've got the FTSE 100 here the UK's main stock market index and I've thrown on a whole load of indicators they're irrelevant for this analysis but it just will give you a picture of how you can build you know the tools up but as you can see around the 5800 area we've got four blocks or well, three blocks at the moment with a fourth looking like it's going to come up and this historically has been an area of support where the price has bounced up from but at the moment my indicators are telling me it's all still going south and we're going to use that 5800 area as a very key you know, support and resistance zone line if it breaks down is it going to go a lot further or is the trade you know is it going to hit that the price that line trend line and then bounce back up either way we can then use it for support and resistance uh, zones where to place our stop loss we can use it as targets you know we can use it as strategy creation or to confirm already the strategy that we have in place so that's a very quick simple example of using Renko blocks to aid indicators aid your strategy help you with stop loss and trade and risk management so I hope that's given you some idea how to use you know patterns trend line analysis on Renko charts rules are exactly the same as any other charts but they do provide a real powerful extra boost to the Renko charting you know way of doing things I really like it really use them and encourage you to dig further now if you want to learn more about Renko you really want to get into it see where you can take it I'm going to show you how to do that right now so where can you find all you need to know about Renko charts well it's right under your nose all you have to do is stay on my YouTube channel it is all there now I've created a lot of different playlists around the world of trading but one of them is called learn technical analysis now if you click on the view um, playlist and you'll scroll down you find all the different types of technical analysis charts you want to learn from and lo and behold down there we've got one called learn Renko charts for trading so once you click into the video course what are you going to learn well there's about two and a half hours of free content six sections 45 lectures all delivered by me and I've been using these charts for over two decades in a professional capacity and you'll see the content all laid out for you where we go through absolutely everything from how they came to be to how you can use them with that western approach that I talked about how they can help your trading psychology how you build and construct these types of charts and that's a critical process to the success of them how you can use other indicators how you can build strategies how you can get in and out of the trade use all these other tools and create your own trading system all around it so there you go that's my course learn and master how to trade Renko charts get the trading edge completely free on YouTube get stuck in enjoy Renko it is a fabulous chart type and now here is the link to that very video
Thank you.